Do you know the concept of code reuse? Do you know how you can reuse your long and lengthy codes by the help of Python module? Do you know various import commands that exist in Python which you may encounter as a front-end VLSI engineer? Stay tuned till the end of the video to know all these answers and more. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the below points. First, we will talk about the basic definitions of modules in Python. Next, we will talk about a hello world module, how you can create a hello world module in Python. Next, we will see various variations of hello module in Python. Next, we will learn the multiple types of importing styles in the next section. Next, we will talk about the Python module search path. This is very important when you are working in a Unix or Linux environment and maybe some other operating system because this search path will help you to place your Python module in the right folder or right directory. So that's the menu for today. Without any further delay, let's begin. Module in Python. So let us see the definition of a module in Python. In Python, modules are files that contains function definitions and statements. Most important is the functions. Those are very, very important because most of the time we use the functions inside the module. Also, there could be any other application also of the module and whatever statements are there in. Because through module, we create a reusable Python code that can be defined once and used in the multiple cases of a same user or maybe for a set of users inside a VLSI company. So whatever module you will be writing in Python for your company that may be used only by you or may be used by a lot of people in your company. So this is the basic need of creating a Python module that is the code reuse. These modules can be imported into other modules or main module. So this can be imported. Say you write one particular module and when you are writing another module, you see that if we have instantiated inside this, the effort of writing the line by line code would have been less. So in that case, what you will do, you will import this particular module inside the next module. So that is also possible. The file name of a module is the module name with the dot .py suffix. So when you are saving the Python module, you also have a .py suffix as similar to your normal Python. Next, the name of the module is stored as a string value in the global variable called name. To use a module, you first import the file into the current script. That means whatever current Python file you are coding inside that you first you have to import. And to import the keyword in Python is import also. You will see later in this episode. Once imported, you can access the functions or variables in the module using the dot operator. So also you will exemplify, so wait for some time. And these codes, whatever we are going to show in today's episode are available from GitHub. The download links are provided in this video description. Here we are done talking about the module in Python. Let us move on to the next slide. Hello world module in Python. So let us code the hello world in Python and using the Python module. So here goes our hello module.py. We have underscore in between the hello and the module here. And here goes our code. The first line of code is hash bang user bin Python 3. This is the Python interpreter. Next, we have the function definition def hello. And in the body, we have print hello world. So this is very simple function which prints the hello world. Now, this is executed when the module is run directly. So you can directly run this hello as if name equal to equal to main, then hello. So this will print the hello world. So this is the namespace. That means this is the main namespace inside that we are calling hello. So this can be executed in this way. Next, we have main hello.py. So we are writing another Python code which is separate from hello module and this is main hello. So here we are writing our basic code. So here goes our code. First line is again the interpreter. Next, we have to import the module which we have written here. How we do that? We use the keyword import and then we give the module name. You can see this is the module name. 
and we are not giving the extension here so you can see there is no extension here we are keeping these two files this file and this file in the same directory for the practice this is another thing i would like to mention now after importing how we access this hello this is the challenge to overcome the challenge we do the hello underscore module dot hello so you can see hello underscore module dot hello gives this particular hello so once we give a dot separation here we are accessing the hello function defined in the hello module so this way you are going to use the function that you define inside any python module so once we execute either of this code maybe you are executing the first code or maybe using the second code while the first code is already present in the present directory while the first code is already present in the present directory then you will get this output so hello comma then world so this will be there so this way you can write the hello world function inside the hello module and you can access that particular function by importing the hello module and then using a dot separator to access the hello function to print the hello world in this way so we are done here let's move on to the next slide let us see some more examples of the hello module that you can write in python so here we'll see different other styles of writing the hello module so here we are writing the hello underscore all dot py so this is a python module and the code consists of the first line is the python interpreter next we have the function definition def hello world next we have the print hello world this is the print command and then we have the def hello universe and we have hello universe so you can see here we have two different function one is the hello world and another is the hello universe so these two will print the hello world and the hello universe this is executed when the module is run directly if you make it executable and you execute directly this one then the below code section will execute this two functions so if name equal to equal to main so that means the main namespace is there then we write hello world and hello universe so this is the direct execution of this particular module that can be also done and if you want to reuse the code that means you want to instantiate this particular module into some other python code this is the way you should approach here we have main hello all dot py and here goes the body first line is the python interpreter next we have the import hello all and next we have the hello all dot hello world so we have imported the hello world module and again i am saying there is no py here there is no py here after this hello all so this is done and now we are calling the function by using a dot separator so hello all dot hello world next we have the hello all dot hello universe so that means we have already imported this entire code here using this import command and we are calling this particular two functions so this is the way you can reuse the python code that means you can instantiate this particular module in multiple number of your python codes and there you can call this function as many as times you want to use them so once we execute this comes first this gives the output hello world and this gives the output hello universe also if you have directly run this particular code that means this code so this will give the hello world and this will give the hello universe so so this is the thing you have to remember we are done with this particular slide talking about the different types of hello module in python so you have kind of idea about how the python module is how you can write a module and how you can reuse the python code written in the python module by using the import command so let's move on to the next slide more importing styles here we will learn about various ways of importing a python module like in the last code you have defined hello all right and how you can import it in different fashions why i have kept this particular slide is that in various sectors of vlsi when different people are coding you will see different types of coding styles as per their individual taste and you have to know all of the ways that a uh, import can happen for a particular python mode so that you don't get taken aback by the coding style of another person while importing a python mm -hmm. module 
now let us start our code this is the main hello all.py and again i am mentioning that all these .py files you will be able to download from the download links provided in the video description so here start our code first line is our python interpreter next we import hello all remember we have already created hello world in the last slide see we are reusing that code and importing next we can call hello all dot hello world and hello all dot hello universe this is one style that we already know which we have done in the last slide so next we can also do this import hello all as alias so this is another name this is this is not the same name this is another name alias but it does mean the same so this module we are giving a nickname of this particular python module as alias and we will be using the alias in the rest of the code let us see how to do that alias dot hello world here you can see instead of hello all you can see alias dot hello world and similarly alias dot hello universe you can see so here you can see the difference here we are using the hello all and here we are using the alias why because we have imported hello all as alias so this is a different coding style next we import in another way from hello all import hello world and hello universe so earlier we have imported import as and only import now we are from hello all we are importing the two different subroutines or functions or you can call methods in if you are in the object oriented regime so here you can see we can execute the hello world as this and hello universe as this so you don't have to use the dot operator so this is another way of reusing the code so you can import the code and use it with the name without any dot in this way next we can also use another coding style that is from hello all import hello world as hw and hello universe as hu so hello world will be shorthand as hw and hello universe will be shorthand as hw so this is another crisp way of handling the code views and using the import so you have came across all the variants in the way you can import next we use the hw and next we use the hu so we run we'll get the same output so hence i am not showing the output here just give a look you can use the import hello world then you can import hello world as alias then from hello world import hello world and import hello universe this is one way and from hello world import hello world as hw and import hello universe as hu these are the four different types of importing style this is the way you should learn the different importing styles because in the industry people may follow this style and you get that particular code for editing from which has been written by someone else and you get taken aback what has happened how it is doing and also someone is writing in this fashion you have to identify how it is done now you know all the variants and all the types of the importing styles in python and this is very frequent whenever you are using any python module you have to import something or everything from that particular module this is a very frequent practice because whether you are in vlsi or you may be in some other field any python module is imported in this particular style especially the vlsi tools that are there maybe in github there you will see there are a lot of scripts where you are importing in four different ways as i have shown you so we have done talking and we have seen the various variants of the importing styles and now let's move on to the next slide python module search path so in this particular slide we will talk about the search path this means this search path in python so let's start our discussion when we have a module named xyz underscore module and we import it the interpreter follows a specific search process how the python interpreter search now let us see it first searches a built-in module with the name xyz underscore module in the this underscore bulletin underscore module underscore name here in this variable the system variable or the python internal variable the interpreter first search for this particular module if a built-in module is not found it looks like a file then xyz module.py in directory specified in the 
sys dot path so sys dot path is another variable for the python so it will look there for this particular file name where that is stored that means where this particular module file is stored sys dot path is initialized from different location now let us see the directory containing the input script or the current directory if no file is specified so there is another system variable called python path which is a list of directory names similar to the shell variable path the installation dependent default typically including the site packages directory managed by the site module so this is talking about the python installation part after initialization python programs can modify the this dot path the directory containing script beginning being executed is placed at the beginning of the search path overriding modules with the same name in the standard library so we are mentioning here if this particular module we place at the beginning right then if the default python library has some module in this name that will be overridden by your xyz module from the standard python library next the behavior can lead to errors if the replacement is unintentional so there is another catch here about the errors note if the file system supports symbolic links the directory containing actual script is used not the sim linked directory the sim link directory is not added to the module search path that means you are using a soft link here right which is targeting some path right here so that actual path will be included not the path from where to the symbolic link exists so all the files in this particular directory which is the actual path of the symbolic link and not the deciding directory of the symbolic link will be called this is the thing that we can expect from the search mechanism in the python module search methods that is existing in python so here we have talked about where you can expect any module to be there so we are done talking here in this slide let's move on to the next slide thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today